So my sister from another mister sent me something she killed. And she's this tiny little thing. She hit it with a bow. Seriously? Up in Maine. So my sister from another mister, somebody who I hold very dear, likes to bow hunt and she goes after bear and she might be 125 pounds soaking wet. So she sent up some beer sausage from 2014 and it's been properly packaged and frozen the entire time. I'm gonna do meatloaf out of it. Yeah, it's that old, it's still good. So first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna soak it in the water like you would do a turkey or a chicken. It's kind of gets to fall out. And how do you know I know this is good? Um, I've been eating this for probably the last couple of years and have had no problems whatsoever. So it's been vacuum packed, sealed. It's and it stayed frozen, so no power outages, no nothing. We're just gonna let that sit for a couple hours. Well, this is <clears throat> defrosting. Let's turn that over. We gotta prep some other vegetables. So I used to have this chopper that uh, is breaking Chinese plastic. I have to get another one. It's just a uh, clean. Did really well on this chopping stuff. But why it got me this really nice set of knives for Christmas last year. And I'm kind of enjoying them. So we're gonna go ahead and take off all of that. Chop this really fine. Well, if you're wondering, I am using Vidala from the Sacramento Valley in California, sweet onions. Normally they're pink, but they have a white variety, which I actually like. Mm. Probably one of the sweeter onions. Now, if you guys don't know, um, since I retired, my wife is still working, and uh, we're both entrepreneurs. I'm actually itching to get back in. Probably going to end up doing that next year. Just to keep my brain active. But, during that time, that's a lot of carrot. Anyway, we'll cut that in half. Actually, what we want on this one is the core. The core is actually the sweetest part. Set that aside. I've been taking care of all the cleaning, cooking, and I really never all that good of a cook before. But after watching a lot of Alison Brown, shout out to Alison Brown, um, comes down to chemistry. And that's actually something I understand. I've been, um, did a lot of chemistry in college. So, 
Uh, I'll do one piece of, um, and don't worry, we, we will use these later in the stew. We'll put it in the fridge. And if you're wondering why I don't like peel my carrots and my celery ahead of time, uh, that's actually where most of the vitamins are. So, why would you want to remove that? That's like real food. Okay. Yeah, it's skin, but... So, next to a video I do, when I'm chopping up vegetables, I will end up getting a chopper. I just I I like the way they do the the job. Now, I don't know if you guys have met Bill yet, but every time I'm in the kitchen chopping food, yeah. Hi, Bill. Uh, sorry, it's a bit dark. Okay, we'll see. So, we got some uh, fairly uh, small particles on this. So, what we're cooking tonight is going to be a bear loaf. Well, it's a meat loaf, but it's made from bear. We'll have to add a little bit of fat into it, um, just because bear is an extremely lean meat. Um, so the bear is almost ready to go into the milk. So when you have a game animal, milk tends to lessen the gaminess. And I happen to like the gaminess. My wife doesn't, but. It, it's, you know, it's part of the meat, but we'll go ahead and uh, de-gamify it a little bit. Mm. Mm. So that'll be going to stew later. So we'll come back when we're putting the bear in the marinade. Now that we have uh, all the vegetables all diced up, Go ahead, and since this is a game animal, I'm gonna go ahead and make the marinade with milk instead of our normal seasoning. And what that does is the milk actually pulls out some of the acids, and so the flavors that most people are not used to. I personally like bear um, and elk and. Other wild game. Wild turkey is one of my favorites. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. Uh, it's like, and it's got a really heavy beef smell, but it's not beef. It's like, that's bear. It's like, Amy, I love you. You're an awesome huntress. So we're going to do a little bit of milk. A bit of Worcestershire sauce, and I'm not even measuring it. It's like this is just what we're doing. Get my sauce in a little bit, and we're just gonna let that sit. And we'll be using the uh, milk for um, some flavoring later. So this will be good.
Yeah, that thing. This. Right, yeah, that thing. Um, it actually works. D350. Bake. Wait for it to come to temperature. Meat lifts are going inside of that. Wait and see. So if you hear the plastic bowl moving in the background, that's my dogs. They want some food. Meanwhile, um, we've made a slight change of plans. So being there's only two of us here, we decided to make these into individual casseroles. So we're getting a little bit of great value all the world. Go ahead and make this up. Remember, this is one pound of meat. So your mileage may vary, but not so much. So it looks like there's probably at least another container of this. I'm going to wrap that up in some Ziploc bags and we'll call that good. You know, we'll cook those another time. Remember, always keep your hands clean. Always make sure your microphone's on. So, we have a uh, toaster oven. And uh, one of the reasons is, like, I'll go ahead and talk about this. And I'm actually using the toaster oven here. Adjust the camera. Pardon me. Is, uh, well, that's one of the elements in our main stove. So we just don't use it. And being that we're moving, uh, there'll be another one coming in. So, hang on. Deal with it. So, we'll go ahead and put that in there for an hour. So, after an hour, we'll come back and we'll see what that looks like. So, now we need to make the glaze. We're going to do one quarter cup of tomato sauce, and you can do this with um, ketchup. I actually prefer tomato sauce. A little bit of oil in there. That is delicious. And then we're going to do a little bit of whoosh, 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 whatever this stuff is. A total of half a cup. And there. You don't have to get another piece of tour, but clean up later. We are 20 minutes out. Go ahead and glaze these. If you're using hot iron mitt. It's warm. You want to close this up as soon as you can. A little bit of a brush. Pickle out of the kitchen. So my dogs, when I'm cooking, um, don't like to be in the kitchen because there might be something that falls down. Generally, there's not, but they're hopeful. We'll do that. And put this back in for another half an hour. Mm. 
Well, that went well. My camera went sideways and down. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do some basting. So, got a quarter cup of that. Quarter cup of that. A little bit of olive oil. Go ahead and do some basting. So, one of the problems you're going to run into with a toaster oven is the shells are never all that stable. You always want to close it in between the bases. We'll go ahead and put the rack back in so we can just slide those things in later. Bell is always hopeful. So one of my old girls is uh, in here with me in the kitchen, even though no dogs along in the kitchen. But so we'll go ahead and put these back in for another half an hour. has seemed to move. We've got one layer. Half hour, we'll be back. We're looking for an internal temperature of 135 degrees or 74 degrees Celsius. Let's get this thing set. We are at 100 degrees Celsius, which means we are 25 degrees Celsius above our stuff. We're going to sit that off. Pull the probe. It's always important to do um, internal temperatures on your meat. Make sure they're safe to eat, but Norm overcooked. That's what it looked like. So we're going to do a little bit of cheese on top of this and it sits for about five minutes and this can be dinner. Finally, at the end of dinner time, we have. Um, Bear meatloaf. Gotta put a little ketchup on it. Everything's baked. But that looks like a really nice piece of meat. Mmm. 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 Just saying. Amy, thank you for the bear sausage. Or uh, bear burger. It, this is delicious. Mm. Enjoy your evening, guys. <laughs>